Hi guys, welcome back to another video at Trading Journey. Today we are discussing a recent event that's happened in SPY, on SPY and the US markets in general. So what we can see, guys, just from this initial view, you can see we've got a graph uh, chart of the one hour chart of SPY. Um, so today I'll be covering off my analysis of the drop and what I think is the future outlook for the chart and the US market. So just if anyone's not if anyone's new to the channel this is traders journey where we cover off all options trading news and we help beginners to gain more of an understanding in in options trading and trading in general so um, if anyone's new to this i think spy is a great place to, to start because it is um, controlling of majority of the u.s market and um, it's one that most people pay attention to so recently over the past couple of days we have seen a massive dump in SPY and we can see this index which obviously has plenty of the big tech influencing it has dumped over the last two to three days into the weekend. So um, I'm just covering off now the analysis which I've done which will hopefully give you guys a better understanding of what has happened and why it's happened and what the future outlook will be for the US market in particular. Um, if anyone's got any questions in relation to options trading or if you guys would like me to make any specific videos on options trading, leave it in the comment section below and I'll get back to every single one of you. Um, so without without further, further delays, let's get straight into this. So um, my initial sort of reaction to this was quite, I was quite shocked to see such a massive drop. But when I looked at the full chart for one hour extended back to to early 2020 we can see there's been a huge uptrend in in spy and we've seen it consistently go up and there's been a huge upward trend what you what some of you might be able to recognize here is i've got an sma the, the slow moving average indicator up on the chart which you can see which is indicated by this green dark green line which has signified a huge uptrend for spy now this indicator is really good for long-term strategy and to see what what we expect to happen in in the market now what you can see what happened back in december 19 to, to feb 20 we saw a huge upward trend and it it turned down now as it crossed the 10-day slow moving average that is when it began to create this this massive downtrend and a massive crash and this can be explained by COVID-19 um, which happened around February March so we can explain that that massive um, dump there due to COVID-19 now it, it then decided to reverse and when it when we got that confirmation is when it crossed the 10-day SMA and these all these other lines um, of the moving averages represent different day moving averages so I tend to go off the 10-day moving averages it's a stronger signal and it's um, it reacts slowly to to the or slower than the other moving averages so as it crossed the 10-day moving average again we can say that we can see here it's moved back into an upward trend and continued to increase and to go up in price um, but what is interesting is we previously saw a spy dump around June 2020 and again in, in it was the end of June so we did see a big dump but what it did do which was which was interesting is it held the SMA 10 day it, it went past all the other SMAs which like I said isn't as strong as the 10 day SMA and it held and for me for me that that is a signal that we're still in an upward trend if we if we came below that 10 day SMA like we did in February 2020 due, due to coronavirus, we can say that that is now entering a, a downward trend. But for me, if it's still intact above the 10 day SMA, that will prove that this is still in an upward trend. So what we can see happen more recently over the last few days is it held the 10 day SMA and, and it's very interesting because um, had it have come below that i would have i would have said the market is bearish and we are looking to to go towards the downs a lot of people have been scared about this recent crash and have come out of the market completely but to me if you look at it on a bigger scale and a larger chart on a one hour chart and maybe even the daily chart so let's try and flick over to the one day chart and you can see here 
it's well intact of the 10 day SMA and it's still in that upward trend. Um, I would say 10, I would try not to look at the one day because it does skew the results of the SMA. But if you look at the one hour chart on the SMA, it held it perfectly intact and the upward trend resumes. So for me, what's also quite interesting is how it did crash, but it bounced above the nine day SMA and has continued to it's, it's a strong rejection of that that moving average and it continues up the up on the upward trend and now what's interesting is it's holding my five day SMA perfectly and it will be interesting to see what happens on Monday um, or Tuesday rather Monday the markets are closed um, in the US so due to due to a public holiday but it would be interesting to see what happens on Tuesday if it holds that line and if it continues up the upper trend. What we've seen in past history tells us it will continue, um, but we never know if there's any any catalyst such as news which drives this further down. Now, just getting into the further details as, what, as to what has caused this recent dump. I mean, there wasn't any major news to cause this dump, but um, from my research and what I've been researching in the news, it's, it's, key, it's, it's evident to to, to say that what has caused this dump is recently we've seen Chinese investors, um, particularly SoftBank based in China, have been massively investing into the US markets, particularly big tech such as Apple, Amazon, um, Tesla and Alphabet, the owners of Google. So we have seen the, lots of investment into those companies. And recently it was announced that SoftBank, who were obviously helping to pump up these prices of the big tech. Just so you guys know, if not, some of you guys don't know, big tech massively influences this index um, and it makes up, I think, majority of the value of this index is based on big tech from those companies I've just mentioned. So SoftBank, who have invested heavily into, into these markets, um, recently sold a lot of their, their derivatives and options contracts and that caused a massive dive in in the index but what's interesting is they they have softbank who is heavily invested in in the in the US markets have sold some contracts but they are looking to continue from what i've been reading the rumor is that softbank will continue to purchase these derivatives and options contracts call options contracts so we should see based on the news we should see a continue of this rally, which we've experienced since Donald Trump's administration, um, two thousand dated back to two thousand sixteen. If we go back, go go to a weekly chart, we can see all the way back from two thousand sixteen, um, when Donald Trump came into administration, we did see a little dive, but we saw the rally continue. Now, um, what's really interesting to mention as well is is Donald Trump to um to thank for this this massive growth in 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 the markets and partly is partly due to Donald Trump because he has incentivized investing in the US and he has reduced um tax rates to allow for further investing in the US um but we'll get into more details about the administration later on in the video um but for now this covers off the SMAs and um I think it's really interesting and I think we will see, my personal opinion is that we will see a continue, continuation of this upward trend potentially into the election and the um, change of, potentially a change of the administration, US administration, we might see a change to this upward trend. But for now, I am continuing to be bullish on this market and uh, I'm hoping to see further new highs of SPY and big tech in general um, that are based in the United States. Just another indicator guys to to cover on this particular shot here is we can see towards the below below of um, as you can see at the below of the screen we can see the MACD. Now MACD is a very, fairly popular indicator which I can try and cover off in, in future videos but we can see here is there's a cross cross here of the of on the signal and the chart is beginning to turn green which we should signal we should should signal a uh, a reversal of the downward trend and you can see that here just just on just on September 8th September 5th we've seen a turn of the downtrend and we should hopefully see this continue continue upwards 
Um, now, MACD is obviously an indicator. You can't base all your decisions on, decisions on one indicator, but it does help in identifying whether we are going to continue in the Dow trend or we might see a continuation and rejection of the seven day seven day SMA, which I've just mentioned there. Um, so yeah, I mean the SMAs are a great indicator for for long for long positions. Um, I myself are in leaps, Apple leaps, Apple call leaps for January 2021. So I'm hoping, based on this signal here, we should we should be able to we should have made a good decision on those Apple leaps. Um, depending on obviously the other factors affecting the market. Now, one of the other indicators, just if also if you guys aren't aware, I am using TradingView to do my analysis and my charting here. Um, and if I'll try and leave a link in my description, if it's free to use, and it's uh, probably one of the best free tools to use for charting and technical analysis. What I also wanted to check is I do use another indicator called Stochastics, and this is great to to see volume that's entering the market and whether it's bullish or bearish. So if I just add stochastics to that, let's see if I can um, get rid of the MACD. And let's see if we can add stochastics. Just so you know guys, I will be making more videos on indicators and, and how they're used um, and how I use them to, to signal, to create buy signals. So let's add that stochastic. So here we can see a stochastics. And generally speaking, I will cover again in more detail in a separate video, but generally speaking, when we see a, a cross at the bottom of the stochastics pointing upwards, we that that is generally a continuation of an upward trend. If it's from the top and it crosses downwards, as we can see here, this was the beginning of the downward trend. And now we've got an upward trend. So we should see in the next week a continuation towards the upward and a strong rejection, as I mentioned, of the seven day SMA. Um, one of the points, one of the one of the other points I wanted to mention look at, looking at this chart here is some people do say this is a healthy pullback that we needed for a spy to continue on the upward trend. And I think it's I think it's true. I think looking back historically of the previous um, pullbacks we've seen of spy it has then resulted in a continuation. And I, do, I think if we hadn't have seen this this pullback over the last couple of days, we may have seen a, a stronger pullback in the weeks to come, which may have not been, um, which may have been worse as the one we experienced. So I think it's healthy and I think it's, um, it, it is definitely needed because SPY and a lot of the stocks based on SPY, such as the big tech, um, such as Apple were overextended and they needed that pullback just to get some breathing space for the continuation of the upward trend. Um, one stock to mention is definitely Tesla. I have charted, charted most of these stocks, but Tesla is, is, a, is a bigger stock which fluctuates quite a lot and I tend not to trade Tesla for my own reasons, but then again, it has made a lot of people money. Um, but looking at the Tesla chart compared to SPY, it's seen a much sharper rise in its price um, and I think this pullback is it was definitely needed and is one of the sharpest pullbacks we've seen on Tesla since since 2020 I think this is probably one of the or rather July 2020 due to coronavirus I think this has probably been the biggest pullbacks actually sorry saying that in um, during the coronavirus, yeah, there was a small pullback, and then in June there was a larger pullback, and this is probably one of the largest pullbacks in in Tesla's history, if I could say that. Um, but I think we're we're looking for this continuation to increase to, to the upward trend to continue and potentially make higher highs. So um, really interesting, really interesting to see this pullback on SPY, but I think it was just a matter of time. And I think there was a lot of people shaking their heads on Wall Street as to what is happening with SPY and how, how is it overextending itself to higher highs. Um, so yeah, that covers off a brief analysis of, of what SPY has been doing. But what I would also like to do is just show you exactly what Apple, so for, for instance, Apple, I've bought a leap for January 2021. Now, what I'm hoping for, for, for to happen with, with Apple is if we were to look at it on the four hour chart. Now, I think this stock, it did obviously have the share split recently and so did Tesla, but I think this stock is looking to be 
in the in the trillions this company is worth going to be worth a lot a lot of money if you look around your household if you look at different households in the us and across the globe many people own several products of apple and i think it's going to um, continue to be one of the most appreciating and largest value valued companies in the world if we see what the apple apple share price has done over over the years it has continued to go up since since 2007 since the ipod craze this stock has continued to go up and i think it's, it's nowhere near done yet and i think we'll continue to see shareholder value increase with this stock so considering from march 2020 where the stock price was 43 dollars and it's gone up to 130 we've seen a more than four time increase in the share price of of apple so i think from now till 2021 i think we're we're going to be in excess of 150 us dollar share price just keep in mind guys this is my opinion and i'd like to hear your thoughts on it as well so leave that in the comment section below but i think we're going to see a strong continuation and considering how much new how many new products apple are looking to increase and how strong the brand is um, across the globe in the age in asia and the us and europe i think we will see apple reach higher highs and become maybe an eight trillion dollar company i know it's just hit four trillion but i think it's it's going to double that easily within the next couple of years so i think apple's a a, a definite growth stock and a definite buy um now what's interesting is apple it sells its revenue is its revenue is is evidence of why it's valued so high but when you look at a stock such as tesla here now tesla is definitely overvalued and overstated in its share price here elon musk who regularly tweets about it um you can see that it is definitely overstated now the reason why i know that is if you were to look at the statistical figures of revenue for tesla and a comparison to for example toyota if you look at the sales they make compared to tesla tesla make nowhere near amount the sales that toyota do yet tesla still till still the largest and highest market cap um car motor stock in the world so i think it's really weird and interesting but i think tesla has definitely been driven by hype and has definitely been driven by greed of the market but uh, that's not to say we won't see a continuation of the share price um upward trend so i think we may still do if there's still greed in the market and there's still investors looking to put money into tesla but a lot of people have said that retail traders are the the reason for the increase in tesla share price but um we are yet to make conclusions of why tesla has made such such a huge huge um trend and it's one of the mythical sh stocks of the market of this century so i don't think we've ever seen such a increase in stock price and uh, tesla is definitely an, an anomaly to this and um, a really interesting experiment of the market and um, so guys moving on in the video i did mention the presidential election earlier on in the video and i think i did want to just talk up briefly about what we should expect now i know with some of the news here we can see business insider made an article titled bank of america sees 45 percent increase in s p 500 over the next decade and i don't disagree with that um and i don't think it's overstated i think we'll definitely based on historical increases in the in the market and s p 500 i think we're definitely likely to see a minimum 45 percent upside over the next decade i think um the way things are going we may see that in the next five years so um one thing that's going to definitely influence that target is the president presidential election if i can get my words out and the um political st stability of the market and what's going to be interesting especially how big tech influences majority of the the whole index's value um i think because of the whole recent news of um red tape surrounding big tech and the use of data I think depending on how the elections go and how Donald Trump or Joe Biden decide to decide to treat those um, regulatory issues, that will largely influence how the stock market moves and how big tech influences the S and P five hundred. So um, 
I think Trump has created a massive rally in the S&P 500 and in big tech in particular. But if Joe Biden was to come into administration, it would be very interesting to see how the market reacts and, and what it decides to do, because Trump has definitely been favorable to the markets. Um, so it will be interesting to see what what will happen. And I think that will be a crucial and pivotal point in the market when in November, when the presidential presidential election happens, I think we will see a huge change in the market, depending on what the outcome is of that. Um, so I think regardless of the election, because there's news surrounding the the big tech, such as Facebook and Apple, and such as data usage of of personal data usage, I think either way, based on the outcomes of those. Um, legal cases we will see a change in the market so it's it's key to keep an eye on those in particular um, so yeah that's just one other point I wanted to mention um, and as I mentioned earlier in the video SoftBank they they this article by Financial Times they released a title saying SoftBank unmasked as Nasdaq whale that stoked the tech rally so whether or not they 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 decide to get back into this i think from what i've been reading in the financial times there will be a continuation of softbank's um, influence and they they will continue to buy derivatives in the u.s particularly in tech so that's what the rumor is but um, we'll have to wait and see and i think you have to be cautious in this type of market as we've just experienced a massive drop in the s p 500 i think you got to be cautious regardless and not open such large positions um, and open smaller positions just to protect your capital um, for any new traders out there. So I think it, you've got to be cautious. And um, what I would also mention is when you try and, for, for instance, take longer um, positions such as leaps, it is also important to hedge those leaps with potentially spy puts. That's what I generally do and that, that's what I do as a rule of thumb. If the market tends to be volatile, I will hedge most of my long-term positions not so necessarily my short-term positions even though it's better practice to do so i do that mostly in my longer longer positions such as leaps and my apple leaps i will hedge with a spy put um so yeah i mean it's it's going to be interesting like i said what happens over the next couple of months but i think it's crucial there's a couple of crucial areas one is wit is the presidential election Secondly, it is what will um, happen with the big techs and the legal cases surrounding big tech. And I think thirdly, one thing I didn't, I failed to mention as well is what happens in the China-US trade war and uh, what happens with TikTok. I think that is going to be another influencing factor. I think a breakdown in the China-US trade deal will create um, more instability in the US markets as well as the Asian markets. And I think we'll see a deterioration in investment into the US. Um, so that is my take on the recent crash of S&P and, and the US markets and NASDAQ in general. If anyone's got anything to add, please leave it in the comment section below, as I'd love to hear your opinion as to what your future outlook um, is, is looking like for, for the US market and the economy in general and the influence of big tech on the S&P 500. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It is, um, it is gonna be an interesting time for the US markets over the next couple of months and the next year, but uh, I'll be showing sharing my thoughts and ideas over the next year on this channel. So if you are new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Traders Journey underscore official. I'll leave that in the description box below and uh, I'll be providing as much information as possible to any new traders or existing traders who are looking to learn more about the markets and what influences the markets and how best to trade these markets. So I'll be providing in-depth tutorials, in-depth analysis of the market and maybe even look at specific stocks and, 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 and provide my analysis on specific stocks such as Apple, um, all, also smaller cap stocks such as BA, Facebook, Caterpillar, um, Square and you know Bank of America there'll be all those different types of analysis I'll be providing throughout the week um, so for any newbie trader or any um, any any traders that have been trading for a long while I think I'll be providing 
a lot of useful information to you guys so i hope you come on board and join this community and um, I, I can't wait to share my ideas and share my knowledge over the past couple of years with you guys so if anyone's got any questions like I said leave in the comment section below and I will catch you all on the next video thanks so much for watching take care goodbye